Britain's first satellite mysteriously goes missing. The Americans know what happened, but don't tell us. What the hell is going on? Welcome to the machine. It's the 60th anniversary of Britain's first satellite, when we became only the third nation on the planet to put an object into space. And it was the Ariel 1, the first in the aerial missions. Now she was launched on April 26th, 1962. But mysteriously on July 13th, only a couple of months after her launch, she went suddenly silent. So first of all, I've got to tell you a little bit about this mission because Ariel 1 was actually built in conjunction between NASA and the UK. Parts, large chunks of the satellite were built here in the UK and was other built by NASA and was actually launched by NASA. The main reason why it was built, at least in part in the UK, was because some of the technology was proprietary to the UK and at this time Britain was actually ahead of the world in certain areas like radar. What actually happened to Ariel 1 was it kept secret for nearly 50 years. But what did happen? So, well, something happened four days before the Ariel 1 satellite went quiet. The Starfish Prime Experiment. Now, I know that sounds like something either very rude or something out of Transformers, but it was actually an experiment to test high altitude nuclear explosions. A 1.4 megaton weapon was fired and detonated 250 miles above the Pacific. This explosion caused complete carnage. It was the most powerful high altitude explosion ever. There have never been done since, for very good reason. The explosion and the resulting electromagnetic pulse disrupted worldwide radio transmissions for a few days. It also blew out street lamps in Hawaii. The shockwave from the blast was just insane. It also caused a non-natural temporary radiation belt to form around the planet. It was this radiation belt that Ariel 1 flew through and that was too much for her systems. It had completely fried the satellite. And even though to say that it killed her is a bit unfair because actually she did continue to leak some information for a few days after the initial hit, it was virtually destroyed. At first, this was a complete mystery. But NASA knew what they'd done almost immediately. As soon as the satellite went dead, NASA twigged what had happened. They also realized that this nuclear blast had created an immense electromagnetic pulse, an EMP, and that the damage it had caused. Lord Hailsham in the UK was the science minister. He wrote several memos to the Prime Minister at the time, telling them how actually, even though the mission had gone dead, it was a massive success. The systems and sensors on board had taken so much telemetry that it would take well over a year to work through it all. Also, the technology had been proven to be successful. It did, though, take the UK nearly a year to twig what had happened to the satellite. And even by that point, the Americans still never admitted it. It took them several more years to admit, actually, to the UK what had happened to their satellite. I should say, the first ever telecommunications satellite, Telstar, was also pretty much wiped out by this disaster. It is a bit of a dirty secret and something that military experts don't talk about a great deal. The EMP weapons are actually incredibly powerful and do exist within the arsenal. The James Bond movie Goldeneye really isn't fiction. Those sort of weapons and the technology to create EMP pulses that can wipe out all electronics do exist and they're incredibly powerful. Militaries all over the world spend a lot of money and a lot of resources trying to figure out ways to protect their most expensive assets like large ships, military aircraft and so on from the devastating effects of electromagnetic pulse weapons. And to be honest, they're only so so capable of defending themselves against it. This experiment, Starfish Prime, was really the first time we began to understand how devastating an EMP was. And, well, just look what it did to Ariel 1. 
Why NASA didn't share with the British immediately what had happened, I don't know. Secrets upon secrets, especially considering that the whole thing was actually a cooperative experiment and a cooperative mission. But, you know, governments keep secrets from each other. Death and taxes and governments keeping secrets are the only things we can really be sure about in this world. So guys, if you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, it really helps us out. And you can actually join the channel if you want, you can become a full grown machine member. We'll be having weekly videos, lots of live videos, debating everything under the sun, because at the end of the day, I am one piece of an eight billion strong machine that we call home. As always, please stay safe. We'll see you very, very soon.